Hello and welcome to another edition of James and Chris Science Videos where today I'm going to be looking at how science works and I'm going to be looking particularly at investigations. Now within investigations there are three variables we need to consider. They are called independent variable, dependent variable and control variable. And this video is going to talk through all three and talk through a worked example. I'm going to do a little experiment in front of you, a very silly one, but a, a quick experiment just to highlight these. So I'll start off with the question what are variables now a variable is any factor that can affect the outcome of an investigation for this i'm going to be investigating dice and i really want to know how i can cheat on games i play with my children and make sure that i get sixes more often this is what i'm looking at so i start thinking of all the variables that might be able to affect whether i get a six so the kind of things I was coming up with are maybe if I use a bigger dice, that might give me more sixes. Maybe the colour of the dice makes an effect. Maybe green ones are better than yellow ones. My children certainly think so. There's one who wants one colour dice and one that wants the other all the time. Maybe if I do a, a fast throw or a slow throw, maybe that'll affect it. I know some people that roll it and kiss the dice before they throw it. Maybe that's kind of um, scientifically proven to roll sixes. I've seen some people do all manner of shakes. They do kind of round, around the head, and then roll. And would that give you more sixes? And so on. So there are a whole load of different experiments and variables I can come up with in order to investigate whether I can get sixes. So those are all variables. Now what I've got to do, in order to make my little problem a scientific investigation, I need to choose which factor I want to investigate, which variable I want to investigate. So the one I've come up with, I'm going to find out or see if I can find out if yellow dice roll more sixes than green dice. So that factor, the moment I've chosen that factor, that factor becomes my independent variable. And this is the one that I have chosen to investigate. And I will deliberately change that factor. So that's the independent variable. It's the factor, the variable I have chosen to investigate. Great, so I've chosen the factor I want to investigate. The next thing I need to do when doing any science investigation is to work out how I'm going to measure this particular investigation. Now, in this example, it's quite easy. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to count how many sixes I roll. I'm going to roll the dice, and if it's a six, I'm going to go yes and count it. If I don't, I'm just going to ignore it. And I'm going to find out, after how many rolls, how many I've got. Now, this factor, this variable that we are going to be measuring, that is called the dependent variable. And the dependent variable is how I'm going to judge my investigation. So... I have chosen what I'm going to investigate. I'm going to investigate whether green or yellow dice are going to give me better sixes, better numbers of sixes. And I've worked out that I'm going to count the number of sixes by that. So I've worked my independent dependent. Now what I need to do is work out how to keep my test fair. So it'd be no good if I rolled the, all the yellow dice with my right hand and all the green dice with my left hand. Because I wouldn't know if it was the coloured dice that had affected the sixes or whether it was my left hand and right hand that had affected the number of sixes. So in order to keep it fair, to keep it valid, I need to make sure that I'm keeping everything the same apart from the independent variable that I've chosen to change. So I'm going to change the colour, but I'm going to keep the same all of those other things that we discovered. So the same hand, the same surface, the same rolling technique. I'm not going to be kissing the dice. I'm going to make sure that I drop it at the same size, uh, same um, height. I'm going to try and keep as many of the variables the same. These variables are called control variables. And control variables are how we ensure that the investigation is fair. Now, I've put a note at the bottom here, and I, I find this is something that I see an awful lot in terms of exam papers of how people respond to this question. How do you keep an experiment fair? Changing the device 
is not going to alter whether the test is fair or not. What it does is it affects how reliable the experiment is. If I give you an example, if I roll the dice and count the number of sixes, it shouldn't matter who counts the number of sixes. If I got Mrs. Hardy to come and count the number of sixes, because both of us can count to six, we should get the same result. It shouldn't affect the experiment. Now, obviously, if I got something else, something that couldn't count to six, for example, my dog Max. Maxie, come up. Come say hello. Max, come here. Come here. Up. Up you come. Up. Come on. Now, Max here, he can't count to six. And therefore, if I use Max as my counter, I've made my experiment unreliable. It's nothing to do with fairness. I would still have the same number of sixes as I had before. So the device you use to measure it, um, that is not making it fair. And I see this in exam papers. That a good example when, you, when you're seeing an exam paper. It might ask, how can you keep this experiment where you're measuring the heat being lost in an insulation experiment? And people put, you should keep the thermometer the same. That does not affect the fairness of the test. That affects the reliability. So I just wanted to include that at that point. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to focus in on this area here and I'm going to do the experiment. We're going to speed it up and I'm going to put some music on and we'll get some results. And at the end of those results, we'll have a little look at what we've got and we'll do a summary. OK, I'll see you in a minute. So the results are in. Now, hopefully you can see them on the screen. Um, we had a total of 10 rolls, and I did four green dice and four yellow dice all together. I tried to roll them the same. At the end of that, so that was four of each, 10 rolls. So that was a total of 40 rolls. Of those 40 rolls, there were nine greens and nine yellows. So in this particular experiment, that made no difference whatsoever. Now, people say, oh, sir, that, your experiment failed. You didn't get a result that you were trying to prove. No, actually, in science, that's very important. Being able to prove that something isn't a correlation, a relationship, is equally as important as proving that something is a relationship. So what I can now do is when my children are arguing over who has the yellow, green, or red dice, I can show them scientifically and empirically that it is not the case. And so, therefore, I have less arguments in my household. Both. So, let's have a quick look at the summary. For this experiment, for this investigation, I asked us to investigate dice. We decided that the independent variable was going to be the colour of the dice, and that the dependent variable was the number of sixes. We then decided on control variables, and there was a whole load that we came up with, and I've listed, listed some, oh, sorry, I've listed some at the side and you can kind of see them as you roll down. So that summarises what I want you to learn. Now, I want you to have a go at this, and I want you to work out dependent, independent, and control variables. And to do this, I'm going to give you a very easy investigation to do. What I ask you to do is to take coins. One coin could be different coins. I don't mind. The choice is completely up to you. Like I did at the start of this video, I want you to find out all the variables that change whether this is a head or a tail. Now, I want you to decide all those variables and then pick one that you wish to investigate. And I want you to call that your independent variable. I want you to decide how you're going to measure this investigation. And then I want you to control all of the other variables. I want you to do that in a summary so that you can show me the independent, the dependent, and those control variables. 
And then I want you to have a go at the experiment and tell me, any of you, you can do this in the comments section, if you found a way to guarantee me tails so that I can win whenever we decide who's doing the washing up. Very important to me. Right, excellent. Thank you for watching. Um, I wish you good night and see you again soon. Bye.